Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Phoenix, and today we are starting a new game of Crusader Kings 2 with the new expansion Charlemagne. We're going to go with the custom game setup because you all voted on my channel that we're going to play as Poland. So let's go in here. And the last time we started to play as a Gr Duke of Greater Poland. And I think this time, why not, we'll go with the Shimovid of Lesser Poland. We, of course, will be playing on the Iron Man mode. So let's start the game and start the Iron Man. Okay, why the loads? I will tell you a few things I want to do in this game. So the first one, I will try to play the game a little bit different this time. So it doesn't get boring. We will play as a little bit of role play. We'll follow the character trait. So if he's patient, decidful and Gregorius, we will try to play as this kind of character. If he is uh, going to be cruel, we will be cruel. If he is kind, we are going to be kind, and so on. So, okay, let's have a look at our guy first. He is patient, Gregorius, deceitful, so we will be doing a lot of plotting, even though he's not that good at plotting, and trusting. So we won't be suspecting our characters of lying to us that much. I think the first thing we have to do is the uh, ambition to get married, as normal. So let's get ambition to get married, because that's always good to have to start. And let's find ourselves a wife. She's ambitious and I need somebody who is good at either martial or uh, improving our stewardship. She's 15. Let's check her out. She is uh, going to be 16 when? In July, in half a year. Can we wait half a, half a year over? I think we can. She will, she is going to have really good stats when she is actually going to be adult. So let's go with that. And arrange a preferral between, of course, her and myself. And I will be quite beneficial to us. So, okay, let's go that way. So now, we have a few other things that we have to look at. Our domain, for some reason, has plots as well. So we have plots, charts, some domains and such. So we are over our limit, but I will leave it for now, because when we... Whoa, what happened? But when we get married, it will go away. Also, the news changes in here. You can see we are at we have a tribal villages in here. So with the tribal villages you expand a few things by gold, but a lot of them you pay in prestige. So that's going to be a completely different mechanics for us. Okay, the first thing I think we can do is just see what we can start the war with. So we have all that. I mean, we have nothing in our character from not stopping us to start the war, so we will definitely be doing that. We're aggressive leader, so we will try to lead our armies ourselves. And I think we could start the war... Let's have a look at the religion. There are different religions. They are the same religion as us. So let's go with somebody who is our religion. Declare the war. Subjugation of Ruenia. So let's check the guy out first. Let's see. He has 14,000 troops. And we have we have 1900. We can easily beat him up. I mean, not easily, easily, but we have a big chances of actually winning if we do it properly and attack him before he combines the forces. So let's go and declare the war on him. And yes, why not? Let's start it. Let's start the war. Raise the troops. And we're going to send everybody in here immediately, so we can actually deal with him before before he combines his troops. They will try to join him, but we should be there first. Or should we? No, let's just combine everyone in here, I think. Because if they join, they will have bigger forces than us. So yeah, if we combine... 
Okay, your wisdom and mercy is legendary. Okay, she agreed to be betrothed to us, so that's great. Come on, you can you can go already. And you can join us as well. You can all go there. And let's, let me see. We need better leaders. Okay, you are there. And you go in here. Uh, no, I need some... I need to move forces around. Because the last time we did this mistake and... It didn't work that well for us. Okay. If we do it that way, we have quite a strong middle, mid, uh, strong center, so we should be okay. The only problem is, what are we fighting in here? Terran planes, so it's not too bad. Okay, at the moment we are doing fine. We are winning in here. Okay, we, we beat them up, yes. Okay. So we won this fight, we got some good score from it and some prestige. And where is he going now? Shemesh, so let's get in there. And after we win this fight, we just easily siege him up. And we should be just fine. Okay, we won this one as well, and he's going to go back in here. Okay, let's get in there. Okay, I imagine the situation which became more and more intimidating, with the outcome that uh, could mean life on, or death. I swallowed hard and decided what I would do. Let's check our character, character and decide what we would do. We are patient, deceitful, trusting. There is nothing stopping us, but we are an aggressive leader. We would not back off, would we? So stay put and fight, and that way we will become brave. Okay, we are brave. Awesome, we will take we'll take some bold actions in here and we'll try to fight as much as possible really. Okay, we won this fight again. And we got somebody arrested. Who is he? He's some random guy. Can we ransom him? No, there is no interest in him being ransomed, so that's fine. What about you? Can you be ransomed? No, no interested either. Okay, fine. I will actually start sieging that, I think. Let's just split the forces in half. Go. And this half is led by me. No oh, should be fine, they will have no morale to fight with anyway. Okay. Another fight that we won. And we actually don't have to worry about them at all at the moment. We'll just siege these two provinces. Two counties even, and we will be fine. And at the moment this guy is presenting no threat anymore. So we should easily take over this part. Okay. We won the fight in here, we won the fight in there. We can marry, and we will. So let's send that, and let's check her out. Okay. She is really good. She has 10 diplomacy, not bad marshals, overall good stats. She's ambitious, gregarious, honest, and lustful, so she will have a lot of children with her. So that's great. Just slow down a little bit. We can actually take the peace offer. Enforce the peace. And yes, we want to do that. And great. Okay. We just hold this one county. And we take this one as well for us. Awesome. Okay, let's dismiss the forces. And let's see what's going on. We're going to wait for this marriage to actually fire. And we'll see what she says. In five days, okay. Three, two, one, go. And yes, she says yes. And we won the prestige from it. So let's take that prestige. 
Okay, we fulfill a mission to get married. And we have quite a big domain now in here, and we can actually conquer one more county. So that's not bad at all. So with that, we could possibly start a new war, but first let's take the ambition. And we would like to have a son. Because why not? You know, we need to actually get succession going. And let's see. We can press the Dejur claim on Krakow. And Krakow is ruled by this guy. There's one ally. High Chief Sons of Kiev. What is your army like? Thousand troops. That's not too bad. We can probably still deal with that. How much I can raise? I can raise nearly 2000. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. And how much you can raise? Ooh, you can raise quite a bit, so I think we'll wait. And we'll deal with one fourth at a time. So let's wait like six months maybe. Or uh, till New Year. Okay, the other thing that is added to the game now is winter. So if you scale like that, you can see the map is changing and there is more and more snow. And the snow will actually cause attr attrition and will make the game harder for you. So if you fight during the winter, you are in big disadvantage. That will be the part of the reason why the Na Napoleon didn't win the war with Russia, because he was stopped by the winter rather than Russian soldiers, really. Okay, and our wife is pregnant. That is great, so let's wait for her to stop being pregnant. And give her a child. Okay. So we see that spring is coming. We could now possibly start the war with him. He has no allies now. Does he? Okay, so we lost this alliance. And you only have 795 troops. Well, I have bad news for you then, because we're going to declare the war on you. Krakow belongs to us. And here is the new option as well now. You know, not only you can get your race vassals levies as well, but you can actually call them to war and they will send their armies to help you. We're not going to do that because he's really going to say no anyway. And we don't really need him. So let's just raise our army. Let them combine in here. Sorry. And we'll cross the river here to Shir Shirasko Wachinskie. And we'll move from there to Krakow. We can go on speed 3, I think. Okay, guys, combine. It should be easy fight. We should easily take Krakow. So we can move that way. I will go on speed one and let's set this army properly. Who can do it like that? Okay, so our middle speed will go like that. And the only thing I would like a better leader in here, I think. Let's put you, you don't like us, so you can lead our army, maybe you will die. Where are you going? You're going to chairs. You're going to arrive there on the 21st of May, but you didn't, okay. You change your mind, that's fine. We can easily win this fight now. Or we may not even have to fight with you. That would be easier for us. Okay, we got the sun. That is great, okay. And yeah, we fulfilled the ambition to have a son. We don't need any more children, but let's see what the sort of ambitions we can have. Okay, because we are the sightful, we'll go with improved intrigue, because we will be plotting quite a bit. So let's go here, we'll improve intrigue, and let's see what sort of things we can do in here. There's just one lonely guy in here. They are at war. 
Who are they at war with? Well, they are at war attacking the Silesia. Okay, Silesia, what are your troops like? Your troops are rubbish. What are your troops like? Okay, your troops are rubbish too. Okay. Well, observe this war, because I don't really want him to win. So let's wait for that. Okay. For now, we just conquer the Krakow. Okay, well, we actually hold it, so it's fine. I don't necessarily want to fight. So let's observe here as well. Okay, the war score in here is 25%. And let's have a look. Still at 25, at the moment I don't have to join anyone yet. Let's have a look in here. Okay, he is giving up. Uh, we take the Krakow from him, so that's great. And one of our council members died, Chaplin. We can actually take anyone as a chaplain, it doesn't matter that much. Because at the moment we have nobody to convert. I also noticed that we actually didn't do anything with our guys, so let's set the council. We want him here. And... What can you do? Okay, that's a new thing for a tribal build. You can build a legend, and it allows you to have an event that will have some jo warriors joining you. Or you can settle a tribe. Okay, we'll set the, set the tribe in here and we'll see what it does. And we click at this, okay, it has a culture of a different, a different culture, so it just changes the culture, okay, that's what it does. That's a new mechanic that we added. We want somebody to be scheming in our capital. Why would they put you to fabricate a claim? Well, you can't fabricate the claim on our own. That's fine, we'll move you later. Okay, you can attract holy warriors, because why not? We'll put you there. And in here, I would actually would like to help them. So let's go to the chief of Silesia and we'll offer him to join the war. We'll get some prestige from it and we will prevent the, our neighbor from uh, expanding rapidly. Okay, so we, we raised some people in here, that's fine. Well, we got a free army from, from that event. So that's great, let's send them there, and they can actually do some raiding for us. Okay, and we're assisting the guy in the war as well here. So what we're doing in here, we were winning the fight quite easily. Okay. And that's fine, and we can actually... We can't do anything in here. I think, so we'll just leave it like that. We will capture some capital, I think. They did some raiding, so I'm glad with that. And we can move them around. I want to keep them busy, so they can actually do things around. You can go here and do some raiding in this province. Because they are a different religion. So we'll park them there. Why is that? They can't do much raiding. Let's move them back for now. And let's see how this war is going. Who is that? Silesia. Okay, Silesia is winning this war now. We got some gold from that, so I'm happy. There's nothing else to raid, but we can actually move our forces back now. And we have this guy. Anyway, the dark cell in the dungeon asking for emergency accommodation. 
but let's think about it as we would. We're a patient Gregorius. Insightful, trusting, and brave. Well, there's nothing really saying either way. We can be merciful because there is no reason why not. At the end of the day, we're trusting, we're believing that really the cell is not the comfortable cell to be with. Okay, we moved our forces, we helped Silesia, they will defend themselves now easily. And they will also like us quite a bit for that. So let's go here. Just remove the forces. And that's great, okay. Okay guys, I think we hit the point that we're going to wrap up this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment because that helps my channel a lot. The videos from this series will be available every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, so I will upload it three times a week. And if I happen to do some more, I may upload during the weekends, but I can't promise you that. And I hope to see you guys next time tomorrow on Wednesday. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.